Hello, can you tell us a bit more about yourself and your art practice? Hi, Max. Um, sure. So I am um, based in Long Island City. And um, I got to say that I've always been interested in, in the arts, but it was in 2021 when I you know, shifted entirely to do visual art. So I, in my art practice, I like to, you know, explore and express myself using intuition, observation. I also do a lot of like memory painting. Um, and one of the things or one of the themes that is quite recurrent in my work, I feel is the, just this alienation and longing. So I was uprooted from my country very early on um, due to my dad's work. And so I've just, you know, I've always felt like a foreigner whenever I go back home. And for, for the longest time, I was trying to find a way to be able to express that. I've done that through the written word. So I have written, but now it, I'm at a point in, in the journey where it just feels more natural to do it through the arts. So that's what I like to focus my art practice on um, as much as possible. How does it feel being involved in this kind of virtual residency, which is something new? like with all those international artists and what is your project about? So, you know, I was very excited to join uh, the residency because I'm constantly gravitating towards wanting to spend more time with artists. And, you know, I've been looking at, let's say my calendar invites and I'm like, I'm really prioritizing art and I want to be surrounded by artists. So I think for me, just being able to learn how other artists think, what materials they're using, what drives them. Um, it's just, it's very fulfilling. And, you know, I'm, I'm based in New York. And so I, I have had the opportunity to join the New York City Crit Club. And it's great to meet artists in person and do crits like live. There is this kind of longing to also connect with people that are in other parts of the world. And, you know, I find that, you know, thanks to Zoom and through the internet, like that no longer has to be a limitation. And so my what I'm really focusing on this particular project is, you know, we're, we're parting from the theme of, you know, what does it mean to be on standby? And so in, in my case, I am in the process of just exploring with materials, how I can create light somehow. Um, and so I've been messing with um, just aluminum foil with a gold leaf, um, I've also incorporated glass um, bead gel, you know, things like that. And I think eventually I want to go into glass. So I think just this residency has given me the um, agency and the confidence to, you know, try things out and, and, and let, the, let the process guide the journey. What's next? Any projects coming up? Anything exciting you? So what's next? That's a really good question. I, I don't know what's next. I think for me, it's just being able to, to continue painting for as long as I am able to and um, continuing to grow in this practice, continuing to meet other artists. And you know, I just, right now, I really feel more called to spend time in the studio. Um, so I do, um, I have a nine to five job. So for me, painting is something that I do you know, during my time off or as soon as I'm, you know, off work. And so I think for me, it's just like getting more embedded in the communities, meeting more people, you know, whether it be online or in person. And in terms of projects, I'm trying to pace myself. You know, I think being in New York is, um, it lends itself to want to apply to this residency and I apply to this open call. And so like right now, I'm just being more intentional about those things that I'm doing. Um, so my work right now is featured at a um, exhibition in in Brooklyn in Red Hook, and it's about you know the, the exhibition is featuring art from like Latin American artists. So like I I felt called to apply to that and and I was accepted. Um, so I think it, it's more of that like finding that niche, uh, perhaps, or just really uh, really applying to things that I feel called to, as opposed to just like getting my work out there. I think I I think it's important to spend time in the studio to struggle with paintings or ugly paintings or whatever you want to call it um you know before just showing everything to the world so just enjoying kind of that like intimacy of spending time with a canvas or with a wood panel or whatever it is is what i'm looking forward to good luck with everything and thank you for the interview thanks so much bax